Hey, what's up YouTube? In this video, I'll be showing you how to make a military base. In this video, I will show you how to make the entire base inside and out including the barracks, vehicle hangars, the airspace control tower, guard towers, airstrip, and so much more. I have also designed seven military vehicles. We have a transport truck, jeep, jet, plane, helicopter, a larger helicopter, and a tank. I will show you how to make each one of these vehicles in their own separate tutorial. You will be able to find a link for this down below in the description and at the top of the comment section. Consider becoming a channel member today and you will gain access to a cool avatar next to your name, some unique emojis, and access to my mini city design world containing every single build that has been added to mini city to date. This is well over a hundred builds, all chronologically ordered. Java edition only. This is the amount of space required to make the military base. And here are all of the materials that we will use throughout the build. The first thing we will make is a barrack. Begin by placing three stone on top of each other. One, two, three. Place a stone stair on top of that. A stone to the right. A stone stair on top of that. Three stone to the right. One, two, three a stone stair on the end, a stone underneath, stone stair to the right, and then connect down to the ground using stone. We then want to fill the back of the barrack in using light grey concrete. Next, we want to extend the stone sides of our barrack that way by nine rows. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and we simply want to extend every single one of those stone blocks, including the stone stairs, nine rows forwards. And we want to do the exact same thing on this opposite side as well. We then want to connect the top together with a row of stone, place a stone in each one of these corners. At the base we want to place two light grey concrete extending inwards from both sides, destroy the grass block in between them, place an oak plank with a spruce door on top, and then simply fill the rest of this wall in using light grey concrete. We are then going to remove all of the grass inside of the barrack. We will then place two rows of block of iron at the back of the barrack, extending the middle block forwards, and then we will fill the rest of the floor in using oak planks. We then want to place light grey concrete either side of our block of iron. We want to leave enough space for a doorway in the middle, and we just want to make the light grey concrete as high as the rest of the walls. We are then just going to fill the very top of the barrack in using light grey concrete. Moving into the barrack, we are going to add some lighting. So to do this, we will place stone here and here and we will stick a single sea lantern in the middle of the ceiling, surrounded by light grey concrete. If you like, you can even place a row of upside down stone stairs here and here, just to kind of fit the shape of the build. We also want to place a door here, 
but we also want to have access to this room where we can stick a couple of sea lanterns in the ceiling and we can do a very similar thing to the rest of the barrack but we can't really place the upside downstairs here and here without them being in the way so it, it might even be a better idea just to make the entire ceiling in the bathroom like grey concrete. In the main part of the barrack we will place a green bed here, here and here with chests in between. Do the same on the opposite side, here, here and here with chests in between. In the bathroom we will place a cauldron here with an oak trap door on top of it, upside down quartz stairs to the right, tripwire hook above it, dig a loom into the ground here with an end rod above it extending down from the ceiling, iron trap door, leather here and glass here. That, ladies and gentlemen, is how you make an entire barrack. We have to make five more of these. Let us lay out the positions for them. Leave a gap of three directly to the left of our barrack. One, two, three. Place a stone, followed by two light grey concrete, dig in the ground, oak plank, spruce door on top, two light grey concrete to the left, and another stone. That will be the second barrack. Then. We want to leave a gap of three. One, two, three. Place another stone. Two light grey concrete. Dig in the ground. Place an oak plank with a spruce door on top. Two light grey concrete to the left. And then a stone next to the light grey concrete. <laughs> I said light grey concrete. Anyway, these will be two more barracks. However, we want to leave a gap of two in front of our stone. One, two. And then we want to dig in the ground and place a smooth stone. We then want to dig four rows, one, two, three, four, place gray concrete, dig another row, place a smooth stone, leave a gap of two, one, two, and then place a stone. We will then place another three barracks on this side here. So we have our stone, place two light gray concrete, dig in the ground, place an oak plank, spruce door on top, two light grey concrete, stone, we then leave a gap of three, one, two, three, stone, two light grey concrete, dig, oak plank, door, two light grey concrete, stone, leave a gap of three, one, two, three, stone, two light grey concrete, dig, plank, door, and then two light grey concrete, and then a stone. We will just check to make sure that these all line up with each other and at a glance, it would seem as they do. If you need a step-by-step -step guide on how to remake that barrack, simply look down below in the description for the barracks chapter and just start it again from the beginning until you've got the hang of it. Next, we will add oak leaves to the sides of our barracks. It's important that the oak leaves overhang the front and the back of the barracks by one row. We then want to place two ferns extending inwards from the leaves towards the door in front of each one of our barracks. We then want to extend our smooth stone row along the lengths of our barracks on both sides. and the smooth stone wants to line up with the leaves. We then want to remove the three rows in between the ferns leading to the smooth stone path. So we have a pavement slash sidewalk 
and we also have the entrance path to our barracks. Let's also take the time to remove all of the grass in between the two pavements and replace it with grey concrete. This is a road that will connect all the way around and through the rest of the military base. With the barracks complete, we are now able to move on to the hangars. So to do this, we are going to come and locate this leaf right here. We want to count that way from this leaf 12 rows. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And then place a green concrete in this position. Extend that concrete backwards by 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Extend across by 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then extend to the left and match the opposite row. We then want to remove inside of our green concrete. We then want to remove all of the grass inside of our green concrete shape and replace the left and right side with smooth stone and everything else in between with grey concrete. We then want to extend the green concrete upwards by an additional two rows, so one and two. We then want to add stone brick wall along the inside rows at the front of the hangar. We are then going to add two rows of stone brick stairs in front of our stone brick wall like this to show that the hangar is open but you could seal this up by placing stone brick stairs completely across the front of this. You could even just have one side open and one side closed by removing this and keeping that and keeping that. Next, we are going to make the roof by placing dark prismarine blocks along the left and right side of the hangar and the dark prismarine is going to overhang one row on both the back and the front. On the front here, we are going to place a dark prismarine slab in this position, here as well, we will then extend it up, in, up, in, up, just like this. And we'll do the same thing on the opposite side. So we'll place a slab here, and we'll place a slab here. In, up, in, up, in, up. And we will just connect the sides together, just like so. We are then going to extend the dark prismarine blocks backwards until they overhang the back of the build by one as well. And then we are going to do the same with all of these slabs. We then want to connect the overhanging slabs together as we have them on the front as well. Fill in this gap with green concrete. We can come inside of the hangar now and we can also extend these slabs back too. We do also have the option of adding a helipad to the roof. So if you come to the top front of the roof, leave a gap of two, so one, two, and then remove this block and six behind it, one, two, three, four, five, six. We can then 
remove a row or two rows to the left of all of this empty space that we've now created and two rows to the right, one, two. We can then replace all of this with smooth stone. And we also want to actually mark an H into this using yellow concrete. So we will destroy one, two, three, four, five here, one, two, three, four, five here, connect them together in the middle, place yellow concrete in here instead. And then you may or may not want to fill underneath this in using the dark prismarine as well, but that will kind of reduce uh, what you can actually put in here since quite a few of the vehicles that are able to go in here are quite tall so it also does kind of like change the style of the roof which i don't necessarily dislike either next we are going to mark out where the next hangar is going to be so we simply want to leave a gap of seven to the right of this one two three four five six seven so just to the right here we will place a green concrete and that is where the next hangar will be if you need a step-by-step -step guide on how to build that hangar again, simply refer to the chapter down below in the description. Next, we are going to dig three rows in front of our doors. One, two, three, and place smooth stone in there instead. One, two, three, place smooth stone. One, two, three, smooth stone. We are then going to extend the smooth stone outwards and join it to the actual hangar building. We then want to connect these two end rows of smooth stone together, just in the middle to connect both hangers together like this. We then want to remove all of the grass in between all of the smooth stone rows and replace it with grey concrete. We then want to remove four entire rows in front of all of our smooth stone slash grey concrete. One, two, three, four, extending towards the barracks. And replace all of that with grey concrete. We then want to remove an additional two rows on the opposite side of our road and replace that grass with smooth stone. Next, we are going to remove seven entire rows to the right of our barracks slash hangar. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And we literally want to destroy all of the grass starting from that end of the barracks leading all the way to the back of the hangers. We then want to extend the grey concrete roads outwards that we have placed previously. And then we want to fill all of the remaining empty space in using smooth stone. We then want to remove an additional four rows directly to the right of everything we've just replaced. One, two, three, four. And replace all of that grass with grey concrete. Next, we will make the air traffic control tower. This is really easy to position. Come and locate this smooth stone block right here. 
follow it across the road, remove one, two, three blocks here, place smooth stone in there instead, and on top of this last block, we simply place a smooth quartz. Place a smooth quartz to the right, dig in the ground right of that, place a smooth stone with an oak door on top, two smooth quartz block to the right of it, extend that way by four, one, two, three, four, extend back on ourselves, connect back to where we first started, remove the grass inside of this and replace it with smooth stone. We then want to place two smooth quartz block on top of our base of smooth quartz, one, two, extend it all the way around and join above the door like this. We then want to place a square of smooth quartz block that sits above and inside the base of smooth quartz. We then want to extend the corners each up by four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Then we simply want to, at the front, place a black stained glass in the middle here with a smooth quartz on top glass on top of that and then a smooth quartz on top of that and then we're just going to fill the rest of the sides in with smooth quartz block we then want to place a square of black stained glass above and outside of our smooth quartz like this add another row on top then add stone stairs on top of that Fill the top of this in with stone and then grab iron bars and place one, two iron bars on top of the very middle block and extend the iron bars outwards in every direction and then extend the center up by an additional two rows and there we have a control tower. Next we are going to head inside of the control tower and place light grey concrete across the back with a black concrete here and a single painting in front of it, lever here, button here, and then we are going to remove this back wall and place glass here instead. And then we will simply place a smooth quartz stair here, or maybe just in the middle, or maybe you could even have like two seats like this if you so chose. Next, we will make a guard tower. The position for this is on the third, one, two, three, Smooth stone block extending inwards from the end of this road. Place a stone brick wall, leave a gap of one, place another wall, leave a gap of one in front of each of these and place another wall. Extend each one of these up by three. One, two, three, one, two, three. We then want to connect the left, back and right sides together. We connect the second walls together and also the fourth walls together and then we place flipped up oak trap doors it's easier to just build something to place these on we place flipped up oak trap doors on top of each other that just sit in between slash kind of just in front of these stone brick walls which we are then able to place ladders on and it just kind of looks like a throw down ladder. Well, we then want to place a layer of stone on top of this, like so, and just throw another ladder here. We then place upside down stone stairs all the way around this, leaving a gap at the front so that we can still climb up. We then place iron bars on top of the upside down stairs, and then we place a door here with green concrete along the inside of the iron bars. We then place a glass block here or a pane, it doesn't matter which, with green concrete everywhere else. Another green concrete on top of the pane and on top of the door. And then we place spruce planks, I'm using slabs of this, on the left and right sides front to back. We extend these slabs outwards, one row forwards, connect together at the top, 
and then up like this, and then we extend all of these slabs back, and we create the roof, like so. So that is one guard tower. And I would also recommend placing another one all the way over here at the opposite side as well. So we'll position it pretty much in the same way. So one, two, three right here. And we can build it in the exact same fashion as we built the other tower. So I'm going to make another tower if you need to. Refer back to the guard tower chapter. You can find it down below in the description. Just start it again and you can go through it block by block. Block by block. That's a hard sentence. Next, we have to make the entrance building. To do this, we will line up with this stone brick wall here at the base of the guard tower, extend left across the road, and remove one, two grass blocks, replace those with smooth stone, and then we can stick a polished and site in there instead, and then we will extend forwards one, place a brick, Extend to the left by six with the polished anon site. One, two, three, four, five, six. Place a brick on the end. We then want to extend forwards by six with the polished anon site. One, two, three, four, five, six. Place a brick on the end. Destroy in the ground to the left. Place a smooth stone with an oak door on top. And then two more bricks. One, two. We then want to extend forwards by three. One, two, three. We then want to extend to the left by three using polished and sight. So one, two, three. Place a brick on the end and then place two polished and sight extending backwards. One, two, a brick and then polished and sight just like this. We are then going to remove all of the grass block inside of our entrance building. and replace all of it with smooth stone. We are then going to place black stained glass on top of all of the polished and side blocks. And then we will place bricks extending up on top of all of our other bricks and across the top of all of the glass. Inside of the building, we want to place an oak door right here with built up brick walls around it, extending across the top. And then next, we want to add stone slabs on top of the building that overhangs the back of the build by one row and then extends all the way to the front of the build and we'll do the exact same. We are then going to place a lantern here and here, just hanging off of the front of the building. A brown glazed terracotta in this corner with an oak leaf on top. And then heading inside of the building, we will stick a plant here in this corner. And we also want to have a table in the middle of the room. So we'll have a one, two, three, four block table like this. And we'll stick uh, a couple of seats on one side and a couple of seats on the other side just like this and we can place like flower parts and item frames and any sort of other decorative thing that you would like to place on the table and then lastly in this little room here a couple of light grey concrete with a lever on one side detector rail on the other and a smooth quartz stairs for a seat. So effectively we have kind of like a little security office just before the actual entrance and we just have like a small meeting room. We also want to add a turnstile to the left side of the building. This is going to extend from this brick here. We place a red never brick wall, diorite wall, red never brick wall, diorite and then red never brick. It just wants to be as long as the road. Next we are going to work on the giant security fence that extends all the way around the perimeter of the military base. So we begin by placing seven stone stairs right of the entrance office. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We then place a brick on the end, 
seven more stairs, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then a brick on the end. We now want to repeat this pattern extending all the way along the right side of the base. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then a brick. We then want to extend across the back of the base in a very similar way, except it's ever so slightly different. So we start off with a row of seven stone stairs, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and another brick. And we actually do this two more times. We go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, a brick, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then a brick. Then this is where things change slightly. So you can either make a smaller piece of wall that is the exact same width as the road that we have. So just one, two, three, four stairs. Or you could leave this open and you could create kind of like a turnstile as we have over there or something different. But I'm going to leave this open and then I'm going to keep repeating this exact same pattern all the way across to the right. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, brick. And then we are going to extend all the way to the front of the build using the exact same pattern again. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven stairs, brick. So eventually you will notice that the brick actually lines up with the turnstile that we placed earlier. At this point in time, we will start extending across the front of the build once more with, once again, you guessed it, the exact same pattern. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Perfect. Next, we have to build up this fence. The way that we do this is rather simple. We place two bricks on top of every single brick that we've already placed. So one and two, one, two. And then in between these, we place an insight wall followed by iron bars. And then on top of the bricks, we place one, two, three, four, diorite wall, one, two, three, four stick a sea lantern extending inwards and simply polished diorite slabs on top of both the wall and the sea lantern. You may also want to add some cobweb to the very top of the iron bars as well and it, it kind of looks like barbed wire but then also so does the iron bars so you may or may not choose to do this it's kind of up to you. So that is how we will build up all of the walls. The only difference being, I just want to show you this, on the corners, there's only, of course, four corners. We place our two bricks with our four diorite wall on top of each other. One, two, three, four. We then place a sea lantern extending inwards both this way and this way with the polished diorite slabs on top. So when it gets to the corners, Sea lantern this way and this way rather than just in one direction as we will the rest of the wall. So we now just want to repeat this all the way around the entire base. Next we are going to extend the road that leads in and out of the military base. So we are simply going to extend the pre-existing road all the way outwards. And this will eventually connect to the road or whatever it is we decide to put out here. However, we also 
just want to remove the grass in front of and just to the left of the entrance. And we want to replace all of that with smooth stone. But not only that, we want to continue digging all the way backwards along this road. And we then want to extend across all the way over to the left. And we want to connect to the opposite side of the security office. Like this. And then we want to remove all of the grass in between. And we want to replace everything that we've removed with smooth stone. Next, we will make the airstrip. To do this, we will simply dig a row leading from in front of this brick here all the way back. to the opposing brick on the back of the build. We will then remove three rows to the right, one, two, three, and three rows to the left, one, two, three. And we want to dig all the way from the front to the back. We then want to fill the outer rows in with white concrete. And then we want to place two rows of grey concrete extending inwards from the white concrete. We then want to use the side wall here, or the side fence, and we want to place three white concrete coinciding with where the three middle rows in this fence is. So this would be the middle, and then the left and right, and we want to apply those same three blocks all the way up and down the airstrip. And then we can simply just fill the rest of this in using grey concrete. And then lastly, we are going to leave a gap of one on the ends of our row of white concrete and then we will place a redstone torch every other block just extending down the length of the strip For the final finishing touches, I'm simply just going to add a row of smooth stone along this entry road here, and I'm also just going to bone meal the grass kind of around the barracks and hangar area just to give a little bit more life to these parts of the build. And I'm not really going to do it as much around the edge of this road, like the edge of this road isn't too bad. But I don't really want to add it around where the aircraft would be landing. And I think that I'm also just going to add a row of smooth quartz across the top of this window. So instead of having two rows, just one row of glass. Oh, and we also just have to connect the entrance path here into this here. So we just continue the footpath along. And with that final detail added, we have officially completed this tutorial. However, this video is not yet over. We must now add our military base into our city. I know exactly where to put this. In a recent previous video, I made a tunnel. On the opposite end of this tunnel, I wanted to add something cool. I can't really think of anything cooler than a military base, so that is exactly what we are going to add. It also makes sense that this wouldn't be in the middle of the city or even in the suburbs. It would kind of want to be out of the way of everywhere else. Please do remember that there is a separate tutorial for all of the military related vehicles that belong on the base. You can easily find them down below in the description and at the top of the comment section. 
And that is that, ladies and gentlemen. I do hope that you have enjoyed this video. Please do remember to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Click that little bell next to the subscription button to ensure that you get all my videos sent directly to your sub box. If you would like to make anything else by me, please check the description below for the mini city builds playlist. We have over 100 builds in there for you to enjoy. Alternatively, the sidebar, hopefully the next upcoming video, YouTube, or just check the channel. Consider becoming a channel member today and you will gain access to a cool avatar next to your name, some unique emojis, and access to my mini city design world containing every single build that has been added to mini city to date. This is well over a hundred builds, all chronologically ordered. Java edition only. Thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.